Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll show setting up an equation goal for the drag coefficient. Here we have set up a 2D flow to calculate the pressure drag around a flat plate. The domain is actually cut in half on the horizontal midplane from the middle of the plate, so you only see boundary conditions on half of the tunnel walls. The inlet velocity is shown by the red arrows, and the outlet is ambient pressure, shown by the blue double-sided arrows. The upper inside wall of the tunnel is given a slip boundary condition. So we set goals to calculate the normal force on the front and back faces of the plate. Here's the front face goal and the rear face goal. Now we'll choose insert equation goal. I'll bracket the force values for the numerator. Then I'll click on the front face goal in the tree and add that to the rear face goal, also selected from the tree. Now we'll do the denominator and bracket that to be clear, with the dynamic pressure of 600 pascals times the reference area in square meters. And make sure to choose the units here as no units. I'll go ahead and rename this to drag coefficient CD, so when we graph the variable it will be named correctly. Now we'll go into Flow Simulation's Calculation Control Options. Expand the Goals Convergence and Criteria. You can see the drag coefficient is checked with Auto next to it. We'll choose the Manual Method and enter a value of 0.05. I'll go ahead and run the analysis. Here we're monitoring the normal force on the front and rear faces. We'll insert a goal graph of the drag coefficient. And here we are, you can see the criterion is set. In this video we showed how to add an equation goal and use it for convergence control. 